update number four. As you can see, it's been a while, but still been building onto it. The drop, camel hump, and as you can see right here, the new part that I just finished. It's pretty good. I'm almost done with it as you can see I only need a little bit more track and the tracks are finished definitely but still I think it looks pretty tight there's been like a couple people online who have checked out my roller coaster and other roller coasters that are made out of PVC pipes and stuff and basically like got the same idea just a few people their roller coasters turned out really cool too so I'm excited for mine when it's finished but if you want to look at the other people who also have like the same concept as mine there's this guy online name is Dexter Chip he made a really tight roller coaster it's named Destructor he said he's gonna make a number two to it it looked really cool. I liked it. It was pretty much like almost like mine. It goes down the drop over the hill. But at the end, his sort of stops. It goes straight. And then there's another guy online. He's like 37 years old. The Roberts boys. They made this tight roller coaster in their backyard also. Sort of like the same thing as mine too. Not the same exact design, but like the PVC pipes and stuff. With the 2x4s and the 4x4s, the supports. He also made a really tight roller coaster. You should go check his out. And another guy named Coaster Dude, he made a tight roller coaster too. I think it was the X Scream. His was really tight. But anyway, it's cool that like my roller coaster inspires all these people and stuff, but still. It's pretty tight. You know, and theirs turned out really good, so hopefully mine's going to turn out really good, too. Like I said, only a little bit more to go. I'm also going to show you the, the car I built again. I know I showed you it on, I think, the surprise update. But now I've completely finished it. All it needs is the wheels. And then it's completely, completely done. But yeah, only like a couple more feet of track. As you can see on the track, I've put that black tape... I figure this will give the wheels like a little more traction hopefully and also it looks really cool but yeah now let's take you over to the car as you can see I put the seat on it it's really comfortable the little handlebars right there so people can hold on I just put a piece of wood there and just nailed it so like as you can see people's feet would go right here they would sit right here and they can hold on like that make sure they don't fly off hopefully that's all the handlebars will need for it but yeah that's basically it pretty cool that me and other people are inspiring all these other people to build roller coasters in their backyard. You know, it's really cool. And in a, in a weird way, like, mine inspired them and theirs are kind of like inspiring me to finish it and just start another one. That's going to be pretty cool. But still, thanks for the views and stuff. It's almost done. By next week, it should be definitely finished. I know I've been telling people over and over, oh, it's going to be finished, it's going to be finished. But this time, it's really going to be finished. So, just check back next Saturday. It'll be pretty good. So, yeah, the basic idea of this ride is... Let's take you over here. Show you the overall ride once again station I'm gonna go down the drop up the camel hill 
camel hump down, then you come up, then you're gonna go backwards, do the whole thing again. So yeah, like I said, it'll be finished next week, so check back. Definitely have an update, hopefully a POV. And also after this video, I'm gonna try to record a um, video on how to build them. So you know, hopefully more people check that out and wanna build one in their backyard too. So yeah, it's one last look. All right, peace.